Minister, if I can come to you first, uh, you know, the Prime Minister will be uh, having that speech. He'll be speaking to students there and, of course, also will be having video conferences at certain places. This is a very heartening, encouraging uh, move for students and teachers here because, you know, he is in a way reinforcing the importance of teachers in today's lives, which had probably been forgotten. Uh, yes, absolutely, Nancy, you're right. Uh, the Prime Minister himself is leading the nation in paying tributes uh, to the teachers for their contribution uh, to uh, uh, motivate uh, these students and for their contribution towards bringing talent uh, uh, to the nation. And here right now, I am at Kendriya Vidyalaya, Hebal. Uh, the atmosphere is festive atmosphere and I see a happy teacher's day uh, uh, across, uh, uh, renting across the air and I have with me some students, the principal of the school, uh, Kendriya uh, Vidyalaya, and he is, uh, uh, he, I have seen him uh, uh, literally mobbed by the students and he has been given so many bouquets, flowers, chocolates, what not, and he is smiling today, sir, happy teacher's day to you. So what does it mean to you, even the Prime Minister is uh, uh, wishing a, teach, a special teacher's day to you all uh, uh, by addressing uh, the students? Yes, this, this is uh, certainly one of the most significant day in the career of the teachers and also in the life of the students that first time any Prime Minister of India is directly going to communicate and address the students of the country and uh, he is going to have the interaction with the students there. You can see here a lot of hustle and bustle. The students are bubbling with energy and enthusiasm and so are the teachers here and the staff members. We certainly are very thankful to the Prime Minister for making us feel so important and so that is what the teachers feel. The Prime Minister has made the teachers feel very important. And, and, and his wishes to them is really a motivating factor. And even the students are quite excited and looking forward to the speech. The Prime Minister will speak at 3 p.m. So uh, what are your expectations? I, I, First of all, as soon as we heard Prime Minister is going to Prime Minister is going to give us a live talk about it, and we are just like excited to listen to him. And of course, it's a special day for us. We don't get such opportunities so easily, and we are so lucky. And I'm thankful to Honorable Principal Sir also to get such an opportunity. I'm very happy today, and I'm and I'm seriously very very glad to listen to his speech today. So I'm thankful to everybody and happy Teachers Day. I am thankful to all the teachers of this country and this world. Of course, teachers are the great people of our nation. They are going to make... It's absolutely, we are all inspired by the teachers. Yes. So it, it almost looks like a party. It's a birthday party. Yes, yes. And I think it's the right way to celebrate Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan's yes, birthday. Yes. yes, yes, of course, of course. Uh, uh, in the memory of the great uh, scholar, we are celebrating his birthday there. And uh, the real tribute to the great uh, scholar will be that, that we teachers are executing all our duties and making the career and the future of the, these young generations there. And uh, certainly the real tribute will be that when these people will be the ideal citizens of the country, as our Prime Minister is envisaging there yesterday, as he was telling, that the teacher never retires. Even after the retirements, he is going to impress the life of the children there. So we assure our countrymen and our people that we are going to certainly build a strong nation. With that is a teacher uh, reinforcing uh, his uh, belief in the students and also mm. says that he will uh, build a strong nation through uh, molding the students' the future. So over 56 lakh students will watch uh, the Prime Minister's speech from Bangalore, uh, Nancy, and arrangements have been made in all the schools, uh, most of the schools, uh, to view uh, this live telecast. Uh, be it government schools or private schools. Uh, so, and we will also bring to you the live telecast from this Kendriya Vidyalaya in Hebal. Mm -hmm. And we will also uh, 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 get to know about the students' interaction once the speech is over. That's it. All right, Aisha requested to please uh, stay on with us. I'm also joined by correspondent from Tiruvannamalai, Philip Matthews. Now,